Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to render images of Eagle circuit boards using uh, Povry. First of all, let's download Eagle, go to the download page and select the right version for your operating system. If you're using Linux, right click the link and save. Let's install it. We will first make it executable by right clicking it, choosing properties, permissions and checking the box, the checkbox next to execute. Now let's open a terminal here and type the file name and hit enter. The setup begins. Click next, yes. I had it installed so a warning is shown. I will overwrite the previous installation. I can close the terminal now. Uh, let's move on to the next step and download the Eagle 3D script that we that will be used for converting the Eagle circuit boards into Povray files. From here we must make sure we download the actual script and not the collection of part images. It is supplied as an ar archive, we will uh, extract it in a, any folder we want. I will put it in documents folder. Now there is a bug in the script. It which we must fix. The file is e3d underline special dot inc. There is a mistyped value. It should have been dot 65 and not. You just have to remove one dot and save. Next, let's install Povray. I'm using Ubuntu and uh, Povray is available in the default repositories. I already had it installed. Now we must configure it. For that we must copy the system-wide configuration files into the user folder. I just copy and paste the following commands in terminal. First the Povray folder is created in user home directory and then the configuration files are copied. Now we must tell uh, Povray where the Eagle 3D script is located and for this we will edit the povray.ini configuration file and add a new library path. The path is actually the Povray folder from Eagle 3D folder. So we go to documents Eagle 3D and get the path of the Povray folder. So I got the Eagle 3D path. I will paste it in the configuration file and write Povray manually. Save and close the file. Next, let's edit the, the other configuration file to remove any reading writing restrictions. We will 
uncommon to none and common to restricted. That's it, let's save and close. Before any rendering, we need an HD RI image. There are I will choose one from here and download it to my computer. Again, I will put this in the Powerade folder from Eagle 3D. I can close this tab now. We also need the background texture. I will do the same from here, from Wikimedia. Right click on it and save image. Again, in the same Powerai folder from Eagle 3D. We must remember the file name because we'll use it next. We will create a configuration, actually a file that's, that will be included in the Powerai file. Just copy and paste the, this code snippet. and save it as e3d underline hdr dot inc we must edit the file paths actually the file names because they're all in the same path first the hdr then the background texture save this in the power I folder as e3d underline hdr.inc you can actually call it however you want but you later include this file in the 3d50.ulp script we open this with the text editor it can be found in the ULP folder from Eagle 3D and first we need to change the file version from 3.5 to 3.7 which is the actual Powerai version used here then we must add a new included file we will just copy this input directly and add our e3d.hdr underline hdr.inc file we must also disable the light sources because we are using hdr lightning for that there are four variables with which must be set to zero to be disabled by default there are actually multiple occurrences of this variables in the script but there is only one the first one where it is actually declared we change all four to zero save and close this now we can actually open eagle open a board and run the script to generate the poverty file In Eagle, we go to the file menu and we choose run ULP. 
ULP stands for user language program. Then we go to the folder where Eagle 3D is installed, the ULP subfolder and choose the 3D 50.ULP script. We are asked to choose a location where the overlay file will be saved. I will make a new folder. Again, this is the first time set up. Next time you won't be asked to enter this path. Look at the live sources, they are all disabled after changing the definitions. Let's uh, write the correct executable of Poveray. Enter the operating system. I could have checked this to call Poveray, but it doesn't actually work. So I'll launch the script manually. Here are the parts that were not found in the Eagle 3D package list and they will be not rendered on the circuit board. Here is the power file and the bash script that I will launch to start rendering. Okay, this is something unexpected. It seems Povray didn't want to read the JPEG file. I will try to to convert it to PNG and hope this will work. I've tried before with a compiled version by myself and uh, it worked with JPEG, but it seems the repository version doesn't read JPEG. I got the PNG image. Now I must uh, modify the E3D HDR include file and change file name and also the declare type of image. Now I, I can try to render again. And this time it works. Looking at the first, the preliminary results, it look, it seems the background is over zoomed. So I'm going to edit again the file, the HDR include file, and scale it just twice, not ten times. Well, now it is too small, the background texture, you can see the image overlapping. I guess 5 will be ok. And yes, it seems okay so far. There are some things to improve. Uh, the transistor color is not very good. This can be changed by editing specific files. All these include files that you see in the 
folder can be edited to change part values and Here is the resulted image. You can also use any kind of image editing software to try to improve it, but the best improvement you can make is by editing for a variables, not from here, but let's try anyway. Some automatic adjustment and some adjustment of colors and saturation. For now, that's it. Further improvements can be made, as I said, by editing each and every part included in this design. The role in the include text files from Eagle 3D Power Ray folder.